Um, Diana Funk, and blog name is Caffeinated, and the URL is diana-caffeinated.blogspot.com. As a parent, what are five things that you never leave home without? I have a, an almost two-year-old, so uh, diapers and uh, snacks, uh, crayons, and my iPod and Xanax. What do you think is one of the top stresses for moms today, and has the blogosphere and internet helped or hurt them? In the past couple of weeks, I feel like the economy has been a huge stressor, especially in light of the fact that I'm a pretty new stay-at-home mom, so we're definitely having our income. Uh, but it's been kind of enlightening to have uh, the blogosphere uh, to be to have a community of like-minded people that you can just sort of at least vent frustration with and know that you're not alone. How have relationships that you've developed online through your blog or otherwise helped you help shape your life offline? It's just been really neat. I have a couple, more than a couple, I have quite a few now virtual friends that I only know from being online and I feel like I know them, although if they came and bit me, I wouldn't know them, but uh, it's just, it's really nice to have this whole other sort of secret identity, not so secret. You mentioned the economy. Has there been um, another popular topic on your blog recently? And if so, how do your readers help shape your content? One of the things that I posted about recently was the decision about whether or not to have a second child. Um, and not that we've made that decision yet, but, you know, we're definitely headed that way. And it's just been nice to get some feedback from moms who've been there and let me know that it's, you know, it's definitely doable and it's not necessarily the case that I'll be committed to a mental institution if that happens. When you are shopping for baby products, what are some of the key factors that play into your selection? Price. Uh, and I guess more recently the additives, you know, whether or not, um, you know, if there are things that go in the mouth or how, you know, if they're BPA free. And if there's one piece of advice that you want to give to your readers, what would it be? Stay away from 